Okay, it's Saturday. Uh, these are my finds. I'll go through everything in a minute, even that uh, stuff over there. Um, I spent 270 on everything you see. I'm going to start with just, I'm going to just do these action figures quick so I can show them to a friend. But there's nothing really good here. Um, as you can see, it's like stuff like that, you know, Spider-Man on a wall. I don't know who that is, the lizard. Uh, Got some like newish Hot Wheels cars, cheap dinosaur. This stuff was, I paid $5 for all these, so it's a combination of like Hot Wheels and uh, not really uh, good action figures. So, uh, you're, if, you, if you're my friend, you know who you are. These are from new, these are 2000 something. Uh, see, just regular stuff. There's like a Transformer. Um, if you're interested in this stuff, let me know. Uh, I'm got, This is uh, Skylander Shrek that. Another Skylander looks like a Happy Meal thing. Uh, and then see, just this stuff. I just wanted to show that so someone I know can see it. So he's not missing anything. Uh, Angry Bird uh, cheap watch. Some more Hot Wheels. I give these to kids sometimes at the flea markets. Um, more like miscellaneous little whatever. Uh, like a loose Mickey. Another Hot Wheel. Uh, more Hot Wheels. I like that. Okay. All right, now let me do video games. Uh, let's see. Oh, what's in here? Okay, that's empty bag. All right. Okay, the last sale I went to, I bought these uh, uh, these Game Boy Advance. They're nice and clean looking. Uh, if they if the batteries are good, then I'll make money on these. Um, here's a Zelda, uh, Super Mario Land, Super Mario Land, Wario Land, uh, Pokemon Blue version, a Sonic Advance, and. This is like a, I guess it's a Japanese. I don't know if it's a knockoff or whatever. I gotta clean those pins. They, she was really tough on this, the lady that I go to. She wanted like, uh, she had them parked at, packed, uh, price at Amazon prices, and I'm like, no. So I negotiated down from maybe 125 to 40, and I was like, no, I'm not paying more because if the battery's no good, I gotta do a lot of work. I had 25 there, maybe that's another 20. Right, 25, another 20, uh, 25, 50, uh, maybe 10, 10, 60, 70, uh, 5 to 8. Like, it is like 80 something dollars worth of games, so you know. Um, okay, for uh, $10, I got these games. The guy was like really cheap. I actually gave him more than he, he, had. he was like, oh, just give me six. I was like, you know what, I'll just give you 10 because I was talking to the guy who was nice. I got a Just Dance 3, WW13. Uh, DJ Foo Fight, uh, DJ Def Jam Fight for New York Xbox. That might be a good game. Uh, Dead or uh, Red Dead Redemption, uh, Mario Sonic Olympic Games, uh, Raving Ra Raymond Raving Rabbits. I, these are like three five dollar games. Raymond Raving Rabbits too. And again, I got a Mario Kart. This will pay for everything. Plus, I'll make some profit. Um, at another sale, I got uh, this is an empty case. So there, but I, I can definitely use that. I have that game. Um, at another sale, I got one CD, the cars, paid a dollar. Um, for $22, the guy was like 10 bucks a piece, but these are not uh, really valuable games. These are like uh, probably 10 to maybe 15, or probably like 12 to 15, or maybe as much as 20. So I got the three for 22, because I was like, I'll give you 20, and then his wife was like, why don't you just say 22? And I was like, okay, fine. Um, Trials Fusion, PS4. Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein, the new order. And look at how much these are priced, pre-owned. But on Amazon, they're like twelve, fifteen. Uh, Wolfenstein, the new order, and Titanfall. Uh, no price on that. Okay. Uh, let me see. What did I pay for this stuff? Uh, oh yeah. Okay, I paid two dollars a piece. Um, PS3, Gran Turismo 5 Prologue, uh, Need for Speed Pro Speed. Those, those probably aren't valuable. And then I paid two a piece for this. Dora saves the Snow Princess. And Dora Saves the Crystal uh, Kingdom. Why did I... Um, that's a game. This is a stupid DVD. Oh, no, yeah, no. No, no, this game. I don't know. Maybe you know, I can sell the Dora games. I, we'll see. John Cena Experience. I bought this for a friend who... Uh, his name is X. Uh, he likes this stuff. He likes wrestling um, DVDs. So um, at another sale for like 45 um, This was marked 40 with the games. And then I'll go through the games. Hockey... Some of the games are better. Uh, Home Alone, uh, John Madden Football, 92. Here's the controller, which should work. Um, here's the AV, which should be fine. And there's the power supply. So this is probably ready to go, because I think it was the kids. And this was passed up. I didn't get this first thing. 
you know, I was actually somebody I, I was I know was there, and he passed it up right in front of me. Uh, Afterburner two, I can get like twenty to twenty five for that, and then I'll sell the games. Mortal Kombat two, uh, Revenge of Shinobi, something two, something two. I don't know. You'll figure it out. Um, Altered Beast. That's a good uh, game for testing the controllers. NHL 95. I can't sell these. I'm probably just going to... Uh, those big games, for some reason, they're all sports and everything. Small. Jurassic Park. Um, hey, maybe with the movie, that increase in value. Pat Riley Basketball. Uh, you know, it's, as you can see, for 40 bucks, it's fine. Jurassic Park Rampage Edition. Uh, NBA Jam. Vector Man. Bad Label. PGA Tour 3. Uh, Sega World Series. Uh, Toy Story. Look at this. I'm getting a phone call. Uh, Alright, I'll go through in a second. Hey, what's up? Hello? Okay. Forget it. Maybe I got butt dials. Who knows? Alright. Uh, and I got a, a game genie. Huh, I'm getting a call again. Hello? Hello? Okay, forget it. All right, this was, uh, okay, these were three apiece. He gave me everything for 45 uh, This game system was 45 He knocked off $4. Darksiders 2, I am not familiar with that Xbox 360 game. Uh, Grand Theft Auto and Dirt. Yeah, I got, a, I got a phone call in the middle of doing this, but I don't want to stop and start from scratch because of a phone call. Um, you know what? I'm going to do, here, I'll show these lamp. There, that's some bedding and stuff I got. This is always cheaper to get yard sales, and it's like brand new. A $30 sheet set we got for five bucks. Um, okay, for five dollars, <laughs> I got this lamp set. Look at that bulb, isn't that awesome? And then I got this, uh, and that's a ceiling fixture, and that's another ceiling fixture. That's, uh, I guess it's, it's iron, and whatever. At five dollars for the two, I'm gonna sell those. I'm gonna make money. I'm probably gonna sell them. I might just go cheap and sell it for like 20 and, uh, 20, 25, like maybe 35 to 40 for the two. Okay. <sighs> Jewelry. Okay. Let's see. At one house sale, I don't remember what we paid for this stuff, right? But this is like a cell row, I think it is. Uh, pin. A nice old one. It's got some wear or whatever, but uh, people are buying that cell row stuff. Here's a lion. No name, but pretty cool. Nice gold toned pin. Here's uh, an old butterfly with a, a pearl. And uh, crystal, like a uh, uh, crystal body. Um, just an elephant pin. You know, my wife said she couldn't have paid much for this. Maybe a buck or two a piece. Uh, this is old, but apparently it needs some kind of cleaning or repair. This is a nice old piece. Um, she got one of them enamel pins. Modern design. Um, what's going on? Oh, okay, no problem. I tried to answer, but... Okay, so anyway, that was who my wife was calling me. All right, uh, this is probably gold-filled, and uh, it looks like jade or jadeite. Uh, nice old one. Uh, this is uh, mother of pearl, and I don't think these beads are gold. It would be nice if they were, but I don't think they are. Um, here's a really cute articulated teddy bear pin with glass eyes. Look, everything moves. Pretty neat, huh? Okay. And this is silver. Again, I, I know this stuff was inexpensive, but I don't remember what she paid for, for any of that. I, w I wasn't there for that. All I did was uh, pay. <laughs> she was like, give me this much, and I wasn't paying attention. Um, all right. Here's some finding stuff that I, I don't know if she bought today or she had. There's some silver uh, finding beads. Here's some other little crystals. I think she needs to have some more crystals. Yeah, she must have had that in her car. Okay. Um, Got this at another yard sale. Again, no, I don't think we paid hardly anything for any of the jewelry today. Uh, so it was all cheap. Here's just this big, funky, multicolor, uh, crystal, uh, gold tone earrings. Uh, this is a locket. Okay. Uh, again, just a faceted kind of golf ball looking uh, with a, a shimmer ring. Kind of nice. I don't know what the deal is with this. Uh, this probably isn't gold, uh, but she'll check that later. This has fake mercury... Uh, uh, an Indian head dimes uh, kind of cool and this is just an uh, like uh, just an old rhinestone pin 
with uh, what do you call it? teardrop shaped uh, rhinestones. Okay, that's a, that little batch. I don't think, to be honest, I don't think we got anything too amazing except we did get one thing that was pretty good. So, okay. All right, uh, let's do this. Okay. Uh, this is, I'm trying to show this, but it's tangled. Okay, this is silver with amethyst color crystals. So that's nice. This I remember, I think we paid, uh, I don't know. I don't remember what we paid. Uh, this is just a nice gold color earring. I don't think it's signed. Here's the mate. Uh, check this out. These, these are screwback rooster, uh, probably sterling, um, earrings. Here's a, that's not the other one, but here's flower. Okay. Flower. Um, this, that's probably a silver chain. Um, may, uh, maybe she only got one because I only see one on the, the earring, the rooster thing. Uh, no, here it is. It's tangled in here. Okay. I'm trying to show this. This is like a Victorian piece, and it's probably green glass, and it's enamel. Uh, this is really nice, but it's all jumbled and tangled now. Uh, this says something in it. Can't read it, but it's just she, it's a dangly stuff. She likes that. These are bone or ivory. These could be ivory. Uh, it's getting where we really can't sell this stuff. We kind of got to sell it on the side um, to people. This is just a, a butterfly. She likes butterflies, and these are fake ivory uh, plastic okay and then uh, the best thing is here um, this is just a gold tone again I, I don't know what you paid for this a gold tone American flag pin with rhinestones 4th of July is coming just a pretty rhinestone bow pin uh, cufflinks um, one is swank and one is Pierre Cardin I don't know which is which uh, and here's a bone pin that was made in the Republic of China just a carved bone rose flower pin um, the best find today was not these earrings, this because but these are like native or or beadwork. Um, the best find today was this gold necklace, uh, white gold. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it has some decent weight. This will probably pay for every single thing I bought today, or near or a little more. Uh, as you can see, it's marked 14 on the clasp. Uh, we were very happy to find that. I think, I think we bought it as possibly silver i don't think we paid more than 10 but i don't really know again i didn't buy that all right uh finishing up bought this book for i believe it was a dollar uh bought these these um um cables um, i'm having a brain thing right now i can't remember what they're called um uh, uh, whatever cables they were a buck a piece i can use those for a t for a computer and or um hooking them up to a ps3s and game uh and uh um, Xboxes, whatever. Um, this is a dollar. This is kind of neat. Uh, okay, I gotta hold it here because it comes apart. All right, this is an over, old silver plate candelabra, a nice old one, right? But all the silver, as you can see, has been worn off down to the copper. What the woman did was she painted it with blue, and it, now it has kind of a what they call a shabby chic look. You can see it was it was at the time a fine candelabra. I paid 10 for it, you know, I'm just gonna take it out and sell it as a decorative piece. Um, here's what the bottom looks like, it's gone, you know. Uh, so it was weighted, but uh, it's, you know, it, it's it's silver plate, it's not sterling. If it was sterling, that'd be worth like over, between 100 and 200, I, I think. I don't know what sterling is selling for now. All right, I bought it for 10, I'm gonna sell it in the $20 range. One yard sale I went to where I bought, uh, the, the Xbox One and the PS4 games. Um, I bought this stuff like two a piece, and this is just decorative, no big deal. Um, they had this; they charged me a dollar, and I mean it's it's probably Fifth Avenue or whatever it is. The, the that uh, mall store, you know. Uh, I I can't remember right now, but it's whatever. I knew it before, uh, but it's very nice looking, and I only paid a dollar. I'm gonna sell it for like ten, just as a decorative piece. Um, Made in China. It's not Murano. This is just a green basket. Paid two dollars. I will sell it for like between eight and ten. Um, here's a bell. Uh, this is a nice, reasonably old bell. I paid uh, one to two dollars. I'm gonna sell it for like five to ten. Um, here's this is I bought for my kid. It's a SpongeBob charger for an uh, iPhone or iPod. And uh, cool, you know. I'm just gonna give that to the kid. She likes SpongeBob. Um, this I paid two dollars for. This is a uh, stamp box, I believe, made in China, so it's a pretty old one. And it's got enamel flowers, and it looks like it's made of brass. All right, I don't know what I'm going to get for this. This I paid 10 Poem Lancome. Lancome is good Paris, uh, good perfume. 
no value. I hope it's worth it, like near or around 30 at, at least because then I'll make a little bit of money. This was only a dollar. Uh, this is like a stone. Um, probably I'll, I'll mark this 15 till it for around 10. I don't care what it's really worth. I'm not going to get it. These I bought for a friend. He, know, he doesn't watch my video, so this will be a surprise. These are vintage, probably 70s. Uh, Willow Run, never heard of that. But they're kind of funky cool. He likes Christmas, and I got two of them. So I'm going to bring them for my buddy tomorrow. Um, this is a fine piece of vintage glass. Uh, uh, it's like an orine, uh, sh shimmery. It's probably out of Austria or something. I don't really know. Check out that polished bottom. Look at this, the little marks, the age of wear. Uh, I can't identify it off the top of my head. Uh, it could be like uh, like uh, Czechoslovakian or German. I really don't know. You know, I, I'm not good with that kind of glass. So it was five bucks. Who cares? Um, at the sale where I bought a few of the games, they had these. I got them three, two for five. And they're just these just memory cards. I go through these, you know. I get a camera. I get one, uh, eight gigabyte. This one is you can use for a phone, and actually I do have a phone, maybe it'll fit. And there's the adapter. Uh, here's a, a four gigabyte. Here's another one uh, for the phone. I'll try it in my phone. Actually, I'll talk to my wife. Here's another one. She has a phone that's eight gigabyte. Um, and then here's one that plugs in, and this is only four gigabyte. But I paid basically $2.50 a piece. The last thing that I, I have to show you are these skateboards. Uh, these were selling at one point for whatever they sell for at the stores uh, perhaps they're collectible I paid five dollars for all of them a friend of mine who was there passed them up uh, there you can see what they are I don't have a clue what the value is I might check I don't think they'll probably be worth enough for me to uh, go crazy on I'm think I'm probably gonna take them out and sell the whole box for between ten and twenty dollars and that's it that's what I got today tomorrow I'm going to a, a flea market uh, in, in the Kierfot building it's in uh, Man, I can't remember now. If anybody needs to know, just, just message me. Um, I might find some stuff tomorrow. Don't know. Uh, hope, hope I get lucky. doesn't matter. Um, that's everything I got today. So, um, yeah, that's it.